how to work with the brand analytics inside the Amazon? That is a cool question for you to understand. First of all, when you will have a chance to get it. Yeah, because without the brand registry, unfortunately, you will not have a chance to go into all these insights. Right now, we will speak about the approach that you could use right inside these brand analytics and what is the main understanding and the main impact that this tool will give it to you. So inside the brand analytics, we have two main pies. The first one is the click share and the second one is the conversion share. So on the, it's like two different things that influence into the market. You will have a chance to compare how do you perform in the case of the your specific search term that you're using or your specific products, how many of these clicks you're getting and you convert and your competitors getting clicks and convert. So when you go inside the brand analytics, you will have a chance to compare should you improve your advertising? Should you like increase your spend and to catch and get more positions because your conversion rate is much higher than your, com your competitors, but the click share is too low. For you, that will be a main indicator when you could understand and catch this idea that maybe I'm something like losing inside my PPC campaigns. Maybe something should be done for scaling all of them all the way around. The main understanding that you should find here and uh, the main thing that you should catch is that we have different pieces of uh, Amazon advertising that could influence and that could be like a different part of it. If we will see like this table, you will see that on the click share, all things that could influence that will be all parts that working exactly with the keywords. With the keywords, we have only the sponsored products and sponsored brands campaigns. So they are focusing exactly on your growth and specifically with the keywords. The second one, and I guess here you will have a chance to improve that and working on them more closely. It's all parts that working directly with your product detail listings, yeah, with your product detail pages. And now there is the DSP campaigns that could be a sponsored display campaigns, the external traffic, the all all other activities that you could launch, your pod campaigns when you're working with your essence competitors, all these parts should be on for getting and improving and working together. So in general understanding, brand analytics will show to you in different time periods, how are you better or worse than your competitors? You will have a chance to compete and understand what about your niche? Are you getting enough sales here or you should improve that? Are you getting enough conversion rates to get more and grab more sales or not? Why your competitors still on the first positions and getting and keeping best sellers, but you are not. In the general understanding of all these parts, you will have a chance to improve your current PPC campaigns. First of all, for you, it's important to check how much keywords you have inside your brand or inside your specific product that will help you to understand, are you growing in the case of the organic results? Are you growing in the case of the top three keywords that you will convert or you will build like this identity with you, right? Build the brand awareness. How many keywords you could convert and easily get in top of search according to your product. So according to that, you will have a chance to write down the strategy of next actions. You will have a chance to compare months to months or week to week for understanding like how all the things working together and what things you should improve for getting all this insight. So the general understanding is that for brand analytics, you absolutely should have a brand registry. For brand analytics work and insights, you should control and work with the click share and conversion share. After that, you will have a chance to write down the all your plans that should be done inside your account. These actions, it's quite different in the case of the your main goals that you'd like to achieve. If you work with the click share, please start working with all your keywords that you have inside. If you are working with the conversion share, all other parts that I have named. So I would recommend you to stay tuned and subscribe to our channel.